Hello, everyone. Good evening. Good night, teacher. Hey, good evening. How are good you? Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Luis Alberto. Iris Milena. Good, night. good evening. Welcome. Nidia, Alma, Francisco, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. Good evening. Good evening, welcome, Francisco. Wilber, Eva Alicia, Estela Marisol, and we have Karen Guadalupe. Who else we have present tonight? Everybody nice? Ready to continue Ready. with one, one more class? Yes. Yes. Excellent. All right. Yes. Very good. Remember yesterday we were studying about be going to with the yes no question and also with the wh questions and we saw some examples right now let's continue with another part we're going to watch a video with the wh questions with the be going to but now with a conversation and we're going to practice later then so let's move to the video <coughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn how to ask and answer WH questions using be going to. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Let's get started by listening and practicing a conversation titled, Have a Good Valentine's Day. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Oh, really? Where are you going to go? Laguna's. It's her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thanks. You too. Now let's analyze the examples that you see on this chart. WH questions with be going to. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? I'm going to go to a dance. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Where are you going to go? We're going to go to Laguna's. We're not going to stay home. How are you going to get there? We're going to drive. We're not going to take a bus. Who's going to be there? My friends are going to be there. My sister isn't going to be there. In order to form WH questions with be going to, we can follow this formula. WH word plus verb to be plus the subject plus going to plus verb plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of these questions using this formula. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? The WH word is what. Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we add going to. Then we have the verb do. And finally, we put the complement and a question mark at the end for Valentine's Day. Let me choose one more example. How are you going to get there? The WH word is how. Next, we have the verb to be are. Then we have the subject you. After that, we need to add going to. Then we have the verb get and finally we put the complement and a question mark at the end there now is your turn to practice making wh questions with be going to i would like for you to make similar questions about the upcoming holidays in your country after you complete this activity share your work in our discussion forums
right, guys. As there we watch the video and listen to the different questions with WH. Let's see. We are going to read them and practice them. Let's select these ones. Let's begin. Luis Alberto, read the first one, please. What are you going to do for Valentine's Day? <clears throat> what are you going to do for Valentine's Day? Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Very good. Thank you. Continue, Alma Patricia. I'm going to go to a dance. I... I'm, I'm going. I'm going. Um, I'm going to go, to go to a dance. To a dance. To a dance. That's good. Thank you, Alma. Francisco. The negative, please. I'm not going to go to a restaurant. Very good job. Nice, Nidia. Now the question: Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Thank you. It is Milena. The answer. We're going to go to Lagunas. Lagunas, right. Thank you. Mercedes, continue. We're not. We're not going to stay home. To stay home. Very good. That's nice. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see. We can also apply what we learned yesterday, the use of the gonna. Remember that one? We can make it short. For example, here, how are you gonna get there? How are you gonna get there? We're gonna drive. We're not gonna take a bus. Who's gonna be there? My friends are gonna be there. My sister isn't gonna be there. Mm -hmm. So let's practice with this one. Continue, Luis Antonio, please. The question. With use the how, use of gonna. How are gonna get there? How are how are you gonna get there? How are you gonna get there? Very good, thank you. That's nice. Jose David, continue. The answer. We are gonna to drive. We're gonna drive. Ah, drive. <laughs> yes, repeat it, please. Yes. We're gonna We're drive. Gonna drive. That's correct. When you use gonna, you eliminate two. Because it's an informal way. That's good. Thank you. William, continue. Negative. We're not. We're, we're not going. Uh, Say the use uh, of no. gonna. Good. Okay. Uh, we're not gonna. We're not gonna take a bus. A bus. Take a bus. That's right. Mm -hmm. Good one. Karen, continue here. The question. Who's gonna be there? Karen, what a look. Who's going to be there? Hey, now practice with the gonna. To make it faster. Who's going to be there? Who's going to be there? Very good. Thank you. Jennifer Elizabeth. The first answer. My friends. My friends are going to be there. Good. Now say with you, gonna. My friends. My friends are going. Are gonna. To, I'm gonna to be there. Eliminate two. When you use oh, gonna, okay. substitute. Are gonna be there. Gonna be there. Good. Okay, Repeat my it, friends, my friends are gonna be there. That's all right. Good, good. That's nice. Thank you, Jennifer. Eh, Adriana. Let's see the negative. Just gonna. My sister is isn't gonna Twitter. Isn't negative. Is isn't, isn't? uh huh going to be there right okay now we can practice with gonna to make it faster my sister isn't gonna be there repeat it please adriana my sister is gonna to the isn't, be there isn't isn't gonna isn't. Uh -huh. isn't be there. gonna be there all right so to make it short right okay any question question with this interrogatives Teacher, yes. eh, cuando, usamos, cuando usamos el informal gonna, mm -hmm. eh, no utilizamos el to. Exactly. When you use here going to, this is the formal manner to say it and to write it. But if you want to say it very fast, very fluent, or like in a popular common conversation, then you say gonna. 
I'm gonna go dance or go to a dance, but eliminate two. Ah, okay. I'm not gonna go to a restaurant. What are okay. you doing, right? Like here, where are you gonna go? It's not, um, where are you going to go? That's the formal way. Okay. But remember, Gracias. gonna is informal. You're welcome. Okay. So don't use it at work. Don't use it for formal writing. When you write a document that we know that is very formal, it's not recommendable to use it. Only for informal conversations. Mm. Let's practice. <clears throat> we have the conversation. This one is, have a good <clears throat> Valentine's Day. This is a conversation between Mona and Tyler. It says, so Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. <clears throat> oh, really? Where are you going to go? Lagunas is her favorite restaurant. Oh, she's going to like that. How about you? What are you going to do? Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Thank you, too. Now, we are going to practice this. Let's continue. Carlos Mario, you are going to begin. Hola. Hello, Carlos. Hello. Hello. Can you start here, please? So, Tyler. Leo la primera. Yes, please. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's Day? Very good. Thank you. Continue. Jose David. Yeah, I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. Right. Thank you. It is Milena. Oh, oh, really? Where are you going to go? Nice. That's the right. Good one. Wilber, continue. Um, Laguna eat her, her favorite restaurant. That's all right. Thank you. Bryant Alexander. Bryant? ¿Qué parte, miss? Uh, this part. Oh, she's going to like that. Oh, she's going to like that. Excellent. Nice. Wendy said. How about you? What are you going to do? Really good. Thank you. Let's continue, Pamela. Well, I'm not going to restaurant. To but go. I am to go a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Very good. Let's repeat it, please. Well, I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I'm going to go to a dance. Yes? Let's repeat it, please. Yes. Well, well, I know. well I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Uh -huh. I'm not going to going go? to go to restaurant. To a restaurant? A restaurant. But but I am. I am going to go a dance. To a dance. To a dance. To a dance. Thank you very much. Rosa Irma? Yes, teacher. Yes. Here, please. Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Well, have a good Valentine's Day. Valentine's Thank Day. Valentine's Day. Day. Thank you. Valentine's All right. Valentine's Day. Good one. Okay. Thank you. Let's see. Mauricio, continue. The last line. Okay. Thanks. You too. You too. Very good job. Nice. Okay. Now let's see. Eva, Alicia. We begin again. So, Tyler. Hi. Hello, Eva. Hello. Let's continue here. So, Tyler. So, Tyler, are you going to do anything special for Valentine's 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 Day? Hi. Day. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Let's continue. Lisette Alvarado. Hello, teacher. Hello. Let's repeat this one, please. 
Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to take my girlfriend out for dinner. For dinner. Thank you. Estela Marisol. Present. Hello. Present. All right. Let's read Present. this one, please. Oh, really? Oh, really? Where are you? You. Where are you? Where are, where you, are going you going to go? To go. Thank you. That's good. Wilbur, continue. Okay. Lagunas is her favorite restaurant. Right. Thank you. Bryant. <laughs> Oh, she's going to like that. Really good. Thank you. Adriana. Adriana, Gabriela. How about you? What How are about you going you? to do? How about you? How about you? What are you going to do? Thank you. Pamela. Pamela Hernandez. Sí. Yes. All right. Let's repeat this one, please. Well. Well, I I'm, am not. I'm not. Contraction? I'm not. Uh -huh, good. I'm not going to go to a restaurant, but I am going to go to a dance. Very good. Thank you, Pamela. Camila. Welcome, Camila. Let's read the next one, please. Sounds. Sounds like fun will have a good Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day. Very good. Thank you, Nidia. Thanks. 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 You too. You too. Very good job. Nice. All right. Now tell me, do you have new vocabulary here? New words? No? All right. Then. We have here the other part, which is an exercise. We're going to practice it here and complete with the verbs that they are in parentheses, but always using the be going to. Some of them are questions, others are affirmatives or negative forms. Let's check here. We're going to write it. In the first one, I need you to read it. Jennifer Elizabeth, can you read it? part A, please? What? Okay, what are you going to do for Halloween? Halloween? Thank you. Carlos Mario, how will you answer this? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. I'm not to do anything special. Mm -hmm, okay. I'm not going, right? Going to? I'm not... To going to, to, do. to do to do anything special i'm, I'm not, not going, going to do aha uh -huh, that's correct so do is the action that is the verb i'm not going to do anything special thank you jose david continue well pat and i always use well, the future aha uh -huh. well i uh, Pat well, and Pat I, I, I going. And you need the verb. Remember ah. that you're going to conjugate, right? Okay. Well, Pat and I, be, I am, I am. Have a party. Can you come? A future, future, please. Ah, okay. Well, but I am not going to do anything special. Anything special. Just that you need to conjugate. The verb to be to make the future like this. Uh, well, Pat and I and well, you include are are uh, going to and what is the verb? What is the action? Pat and I are uh, going to excellent. That's good to have a party. A party. Can you can, come? Can, That's can correct. You good. That's nice. Thank you. So let's see. Sure. And let's continue. Brenda Smeralda. The next one is a question. Brenda Esmeralda, are you present? Hi. Hello, Brenda. 
Okay, how do you complete here? Answer where? Where? Uh, are? What is next? To formulate the future? Where are you? You are. No, going to. Remember, you need going to, right? Going to. Uh huh. Going to. And what is the verb? Have the party. Have. Uh -huh, that's good. Have. That's right. So, sure. Where are you going to have the party? Thank you. Luis Antonio. Have the party. Luis Antonio, are you present? It. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So we can apply. Excellent. We can put an apostrophe. It's going to be. Excellent. That is the verb that we have. Really good. Thank you, Luis. Let's see. Let's continue with William. This is another question. <laughs> What time? <laughs> Will it? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> no? Okay. Remember that here, the party is the subject. And you need to use the verb to be. How do you conjugate the verb to be? With singular. Mm, what time? Is. Is. Uh -huh, correct, because the party is like it. Remember? Okay. The party is like it. It's something. It's one thing. It's an object. Mm -hmm. So here it will be what time is, is the party. What else? The party uh -huh. uh, going to start. Ah, excellent. Going to start. To a start. And it's a question, right? What time is the party going to start? That's all right. Good one. Let's continue. Karen Guadalupe. At six. And since I need an going it's. engine. Uh -huh. It's it's. You it's can going use a contraction. Mm, remember that you need to use going to. It's future. It's going. It's going to. And. And pointing. that is correct. Uh -huh. And it's going to end around midnight. That's correct. Good one. Francisco, please. The next one is a question. Who? Who's? Apostrophe. Mm, remember is. that here the subject is you. You? The subject is are. you. Excellent. That's Who? good. Who are, Who are you? you? Going to invite. 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 Excellent. Who are you going to invite? Who are you going to invite? Correct. Let's see the next one with we. Mercedes. We. We are uh -huh. going to ask. All good friends. All are good friends. That's correct, guys. Very good. Okay, now let's continue. We're going to practice this conversation. Camila, you're going to begin. Let's start, please. A, what? What are you going to do for Halloween? For Halloween. All right, thank you. Let's continue. Camila Lisette. I don't know. I am not going to do anything to do? special. Going to, to do? do? Going to do anything special. Special. Thank you. Alma, Alma Patricia. Well. Well. Pat. Well, Pat. Um, I are going to. Going to have uh -huh. yeah. a party. A party. Can you 
Can you come? Can you come? That's correct. Good one. Thank you. Let's continue, Luis Alberto. Sure. Sure. What are you? Where? Where are you? Where are you? Are you? Where are you? Where are you? Are you? Are you, are you going to <coughs> have? Have? Have the party? Have the party. Have, the party. have, a, have the party. That's correct. The party. Thank you. Let's see, Pamela. Continue, please. Pamela, are you there? It's, yes. It's okay. going to be a past house. That's correct. Thank you. Continue, Francisco. What time? What time is the party going to start? Going to start. Thank you. All right. Let's go ahead then, William. At six. And it's uh, going to end around midnight. Around midnight. Very good job. Nice. Chrysia, continue. Who? Who are you going to invite? Invite. Excellent. Jennifer, Elizabeth. <coughs> we are going to ask all our good friends. Our good, good friends. friends. Very good, good job. Friends. Sorry, Excellent. Good. That's very good. Thank you. Do you have questions? No question, coach. No questions? All right, let's go ahead then. Do you raise this? Let's remember that here you have it in the platform, the exercise 1.11. Now let's see here in the example, one example that we have. It says in the instruction, complete the conversations with the correct form of be going to. Follow the example. We got the example here. In the part A, we're going to read it. Karen Guadalupe, can you read A, please? How, uh, how are you going to spend your summer vacation? Right. Thank you. Let's continue. Nidia, P. My parents. My parents. Permítame que no, que no puedo ver la pantalla. No sé qué toque. Okay. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, ahorita, ahorita. Sí. My parents. Uh, my parents and I are going to visit my grandparents. Very good. Thank you. Okay. That is the example that we have. Depending on the verb that they give you in parentheses, it's like the previous exercise that we finished. So in conversation one in the platform, it appears like this. Number one, who are you? What will be the answer? Luis Antonio? Going to invite. To invite. To invite to Thanksgiving dinner. Yeah, that's correct. Going to invite. So it will be here. You write it normally here. Going to invite. And like that is the rest, right, of the conversation that you have in the platform. Okay. Let's go ahead on our next part. <clears throat> now let's continue with some special occasions. Yesterday we worked with some holidays, but also we have other celebrations not necessarily like a holiday right but we can celebrate different special days let's check here some of them we got here for example mother's day father's day graduation wedding anniversary and also we have others but we're going to watch the video about that Hi everyone, in this class you'll learn vocabulary for discussing how to celebrate special occasions. Let's start by listening to the vocabulary on this picture. Mother's Day, Father's Day, Graduation, Wedding, 
Anniversary. Send cards. Give presents. Take pictures. Sing songs. Dance. Eat cake. Have a party. Have a picnic. Eat special food. Wear special clothes. Now it's time to put these vocabulary words into practice. I would like for you to describe your plans for each of these special holidays. Mother's Day, Father's Day, graduation, wedding, anniversary. Uh, let me give a quick example. I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. After you complete this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, so all of these ones we saw on the video and also we watched about the different activities that you can do on these special days. For example, send cards, give presents, take pictures, sing songs, dance, eat cake, have a party, have a picnic, eat a special food, wear special clothes. All it depends on the celebration that we want to, right? Now let's check here. Hey, we sure. have some examples, tell me. Diferencia entre have a party y have a picnic. Oh, when you have a party, this one is like a celebration that you have, but- No, perdón, era entre have a- Ah, okay. Have a party? Have a party and? No, no, correcto, y have a picnic. Uh -huh. the, yeah, that's the difference. The difference is when you have a party, it's a celebration of something because you are happy for something. But have a picnic, remember that you don't celebrate necessarily. It's not a party, but you take food. You take food for something. And in a picnic, you can give it to the park, for example. A veces uno va al parque, lleva comida, a veces el mantelito. So that's only a picnic. No necessarily it's a party. No necessariamente tiene que ser una fiesta. A party, you celebrate something. That's the thing. Thanks. So in picnic, it's always food involved. Always include the food. We got some examples here. It says, I'm going to take pictures for my daughter's graduation. So what is the celebration? What's the special day? It's a graduation, right? For a specific person, for my daughter. I'm going to wear special clothes for my daughter's graduation. So what's the special day? It's the same one, right? For the graduation. Let's check another example. It says, I'm going to dance for my friend's wedding. What is the special day? <coughs> Wedding is the wedding, right? That is correct. Very good. Now you give me more examples. Something that you are going to do. I'm going to send cards for Mother's Day, for example. So give me more examples. Luis, can you give us another example? So you're going to use the be going to use the future. Luis Alberto. Uh, in going to dance. I'm, I'm yes. going. No, but you give another example. Uh, uh, and, uh, you give another example. Like, I'm going to give presents. I'm going to take pictures. I'm going to dance, eat cake. Give them presents. Ah, okay. Give presents. What is the okay. special location? What graduation. Is For graduation. Okay, I'm going to give presents for, for the graduation. 
All right, that's good. That will be the special days. Nice one. Okay, let's see. Alma, Alma Patricia, give us another example, please. Eh, no sé si está bien, pero uh, Say it. I, it's okay. I'm going to uh -huh. have. I'm going to, to eat cake. To eat cake. To no eat. Uh huh. Yeah, that's correct. I'm going to eat cake. And what is the special day? Eh, tengo que agregar ahí para que vea. Ajá, the special day. The celebration. Eh, no sé cómo decir. Para Maybe, el día de la madre. No ah, sé for cómo. Mother's Day. Ajá, for Mother's Day. For, for mother's, mother's, mother's Day. Ajá, that's good. For Mother's Day. So we have it here. Mother's Day. Day. Uh -huh, that's correct. Thank you, Alma. That's correct. Good one. Jose David, give us another example, please. Okay. Uh, I'm going to give present for my anniversary. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to give presents for my anniversary. So in this case, it's at the contrary, right? You are not going to receive the presents. You are going to give. <laughs> it's at the contrary. Yes. Very good. Thank you. That's good. Let's continue. Camila, please. Give us another example. I'm going to have a picnic, a picnic for anniversary. Ah, that's anniversary. good. That's very, so very good. That's nice. Okay. So I'm going... She have a picnic for, you can say for my anniversary, right? Anniversary. That's all right. Thank you. Jennifer Elizabeth, another example, please. Coach, uh, se puede utilizar el she and he. Sure. Go ahead. You can use different subjects. You can okay. say my brother, my mother. She is going to send cars mm -hmm. with no a uh, going to send cars for, for her her anniversary for her anniversary anniversary her that's correct good one okay in there you have plans remember that be going to they are plans that you have for certain activities here. Questions. Do you have any questions? No? No question, coach. All right. Then we're going to pass the list, guys. Let me know if you are present, please. All right, let's begin. Adriana, Gabriela. Present teacher. Thank you, Adriana. Alma, Patricia. Present teacher. Thank you, Alma. Ana Lisette. Ana Lisette. Brenda Esmeralda. Hi, present. Brenda Esmeralda, present, right? Present. Ana Lisette, too. Present teacher. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank yes. you. Bryant Alexander. Present. Thank you. Camila Lisset. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Carlos Mario. Present teacher. Thank you. Doris Emilia. <coughs> Doris Emilia. Elvis Leonel. Elvis Leonel, <clears throat> Estela Marisol, Estela Marisol, Eva Alicia, Eva Alicia, 
Eva, I remember I saw Eva. Me parece que había Eva por ahí. Eva. Francisco Samuel. I present, teacher. Thank you so much. That was Eva, right? Teacher, sí. Yes, yes. Okay. Ok, thank you. Ya decía ahí o si la había visto por ahí. <ríe> you are here. Thank you. Iris, Iris Milena. Present. Thank you. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present, coach. Thank you. José David. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. Karen Guadalupe. Present, teacher. Thank you, Karen. Crisia Dorila. Present. Thank you, Crisia. Luis Alberto. Present, teacher. Thank you. Luis Antonio. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mauricio yeah. Enrique. Mauricio Enrique. Mercedes Elizabeth. Present, please. Thank you, Mercedes. Nidia Yamilex. Present, teacher. Thank you, Nidia. Rosa Irma. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Sarina Susana. Sarina Susana. Tatiana María. Tatiana María. Gwen... <coughs> Sorry, Tatiana. No. Wendy Lisette. Present. Thank you, Wendy. Wilber Enrique. Present. Thank you. William Vladimir. Present. Thank you so much. Yesenia Maribel. Present teacher. Thank you. And Yesenia Pamela. Present. Thank you very much. All right. Let's go on. Okay, Yesenia Palacios is writing right now. Let me check here. Here you are, okay. All right, let's continue here then. Let's move to another space. Let's continue with celebrations. But this time is going to be about birthdays. And these birthdays are like this. It says, by the end of this class, you will develop skills in scanning and reading for details by reading an article about birthday celebration in different countries. So let's see. <coughs> and the video, which will be those countries. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll develop skills in scanning and reading for details <laughs> by reading an article about birthday celebrations in different countries. What are you going to do on your birthday? Elena Buenaventura, Madrid. My 21st birthday is on Saturday, and I'm going to go out with some friends. To wish me a happy birthday, they're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. Yen Ching Shi, Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday, so we're going to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki, Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow. In Japan, the 60th birthday is called Kaneki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are our children going to give him? A red hat and vest. 
Philippe Jolie, Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week, so I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner. In France, when you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. All right, there we have. Now let's check here our readings. It says, what are you going to do on your birthday? So what are your plans for that special day? Let's read them. Elena Buenaventura is from Madrid. It says, my 21st birthday is on Saturday and I'm going to go out with some friends to wish me a happy birthday. They're going to pull on my ear 21 times, once for each year. It's an old custom. Some people pull on the ear just once, but my friends are very traditional. You see, that's a very good tradition that they have. And a typical tradition from La India also. It's very, very common from that country. Do you have new vocabulary here? Yes, custom. What is to pull? To pull. To pull is this action. This action that the girl is doing okay. with the boys. Pull the ear. It's like this. Pull. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's pull. It's a tradition that they have. And what's the other one? I'm sorry. I have another question. Custom. Custom. Uh -huh. Custom is like a tradition. I have it. Costume. Oh, okay. uh -huh. So that's a custom that they have. It's a tradition that depending on the culture that they have. Now let's go ahead with the next one. Jan Chinshi Taipei. Tomorrow is my 16th birthday. It's a special birthday. So we're going okay. to have a family ceremony. I'm probably going to get some money in lucky envelopes from my relatives. My mother is going to cook noodles. Noodles are for a long life. New vocabulary? No. no. How do you use no. a noodles coach? Which one? Sorry. Uh, oh, noodles. Noodles. Uh, noodles. It's like, a, it's similar than spaghetti, but specifically the one that come like in Maruchan, all that, that Chinese people eat, or in Asia they eat, is like a normal food for them. Typical food for Asia is noodles, like fideos. Mm. Uh -huh. Those are noodles. Do you like noodles? Teacher, who is envelope? Like what is envelope? Envelope, well, this one is the plural. This is envelope, this thing, this picture, where you can put money, you can put letters, you can put cards. That's an envelope. All right, let's see the other case. Mr. and Mrs. Aoki Kyoto. My husband is going to be 60 tomorrow in Japan. The 16th birthday is called Hanraki. It's the beginning of a new life. The color red represents a new life. So children often give something red as a present. What are your children going to give him? A red hat and vest? New vocabulary? Beginning que es, teacher. Beginning, that means Be comienzo. comienzo. ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Beginning. Beginning. Uh -huh. Beginning. Uh -huh. Yes. Beginning, that means inicio, comienzo. So beginning of a new life. 
el comienzo, ah, el inicio de una, inicio nueva de, vida. de una nueva vida. Exactly. Uh -huh. So that is the meaning of that. That is the meaning, let's say, because it says that in Japan, the 16th birthday is very special for them. They call it or they give a name, Kanreki. That, that means the beginning of a new life. Okay, teacher, gracias. You're very welcome. Let's see then about the next one. Philip Jolly in Paris. I'm going to be 30 next week. So I'm going to invite three very good friends out to dinner yes. in France. When yes. you have a birthday, you often invite people out. In some countries, I know it's the opposite. People take you out. This is the opposite, right? Because normally here, for example, here in El Salvador, right? Uh, when a person has his or her birthday, you invite the person. Hey, let's go to a restaurant. <laughs> and you pay for the person, right? For the person who has the birthday. But here in Paris, it's different. The celebrated person, then they pay. <laughs> they pay for the for the guests that they have. Hello, uh, Lisa, do you have a question? No, no es una no cuestión, más bien es, es un comentario, ¿verdad? Eh, no sabía que the color red represents a new ray. En Kyoto, yes. En mm. Kyoto, yes. So that is the, the culture that they have. It's very interesting, right? Interesting. How interesting. It's very interesting, uh -huh, because in different cultures, they have new things, right? to do that so they have their own meaning any question about this no, no more questions okay then let's go here in the platform you have the exercise 1.16 in the one the instructions say Read the article, then answer whether the sentence presented in each article is true or false. So according to what we read about Elena Buenaventura from Madrid, let's see if we remember, we have a good memory there. To celebrate her birthday, Elena's friends are going to pull her ear 21 times. Is that correct or incorrect? True or false? It's true. It's true, right? So they are going to pull her ear 21 times. And it also mentions that very interesting tradition that they have, that some of the people, they only pull only one time, only one occasion. But in, in her case, that her friends are very traditional. They do it according to the age. So how old is Elena going to be? How old is she going to be? 21. 21 years old. That is correct. Very good. Okay, so you're going to select the one that is true. All right, guys. Now, we can here practice a little bit more. Let's ask some questions about the celebrations. And let's begin with Wilbur. Wilbur, give us another example, please. About, um, let's see, graduation. Wilbur? Wilbur Enrique? Sorry, teacher. Hello, uh, Wilbur. ¿Qué tengo que hacer? <laughs> hey, give us an example, please. For example, for a uh, graduation. What are you going to do for a graduation? Maybe a friend's graduation, your graduation, probably. Um, an activity from here, send cards, give presents, take pictures. I'm going to eat a special um, food. Remember, I'm um, right. I'm going to. I'm going to. Uh -huh. A special food. I'm, I'm going, going to, to eat. Eat, excellent. I'm going to eat a special food. For? For the um, anniversary. Okay, for the anniversary. That's all right. Very good. Thank you. Francisco, give us another example, please. Now, and let's see for Father's Day. 
let's suppose that Father's Day, well, we know that is next year, right? But probably you already have your plans. What are you going to do on that special day? I and my brother are my bro going... My brother and I? My brother and I Excellent. Going, are, 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 going to... are going to eat cake for the Father's mm -hmm. Day. For Father's Day. For Father's Day. Can you repeat it, please, Francisco? My brother my and brother, I. My brother and I are going to uh -huh. eat cake for, for the for Father's, Father's Day. For Father's Day. For Father's Day. Very good, Joe. That's nice. Thank you. Luis Alberto, continue. Now let's see for Mother's Day. What are you going to do for Mother's Day? Luis Alberto? Hello? The microphone, please. You need to activate the microphone. Me yes. escucha? Yes, now yes. Thank you, please. Sí, so me escucha? The... Yes. Mother test. Mother. Tell me what, what are you going to do on Mother's Day? Mother days. Okay, then you start. I am going to. I am going to. I am going to. Uh -huh. And select one of these actions. Send cars, have a picnic, wear special clothes. A special food. To eat. I am eat. going to eat. I am going to eat. A special, special food. food for. Food. For Mother's Day. For Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Mother's Day. Right. Thank you. Wendell is set. Okay. Tell me, suppose that your friend is going to get married and is going to have a wedding. What are you going to do for your friend's wedding? I'm going to sing song. That's for good. my friend's wedding. Excellent job. Very good. Thank you. Let's see. Let's continue with Mercedes. Mercedes Elizabeth. What are you going to do on your anniversary? Mm. My husband and I'm and going I, to, and I, I are, going to, are going to uh, <laughs> shopping. Going to restaurants. To go or to a, a restaurant? To go going to, to go? a restaurant for a dinner. Uh -huh. And for the anniversary. Uh, for the anniversary. For mm -hmm. the anniversary. Very good, Joe. Thank you. Let's continue, Nidia. Jamilex, what are you going to do on your graduation? I am I going am, to do. I am going to. I am going action. to. I am going to give have, presents. How have okay excellent. How a party good for, for my graduation. My graduation, very good job, nice. Jennifer Elizabeth, what are you going to do on Father's Day? Okay, Carlitos is going to dance. Uh huh. Okay. Uh, for for. Father's Day. Father's with, Day. Mm -hmm. With his girlfriend. Okay. <laughs> That's nice. Very good job. Thank you. Okay. Now let's see. Let's continue with Yesenia. Yesenia Palacios. Yes. Yes. Okay. Tell us what are you going to do on Mother's Day? Uh we are going to eat uh, china food chinese food chinese food uh-huh on we, on on the mother's day on mother's day uh-huh on mother's day that's all right very good job guys congratulations all right thank we you have here thank you so much any question about this with the big going to no question, coach. No. 
All right, guys, then we're going to continue tomorrow, okay? Have a very good night. I'll see okay, you tomorrow good night. night. Good dreams. Good night, teacher. Bye. Thank you, teacher. Have a good night. Thank you so good much. Night. Goodbye. See you Have tomorrow. Good night. I'll Bye. see you tomorrow. Bye. Take care. Bye. Goodbye. Tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank you Bye. so much. Tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Sweet dreams. Bye, teacher.